this is Alex Henry, and we are in beautiful Malibu, California, shooting triathlete Chris Lieto for a Living Magazine cover and spread for Outside Magazine. So stay with us, because not only are we shooting the print edition of the magazine, we're also doing a living version to give you guys a glimpse of what the magazines of the future might look like. So what's this going to look like when we're done? We've all seen sci-fi movies where magazines and newspapers have the pictures moving right on the page. That's what we're doing here. We're making moving photographs called living art for that purpose. I really wanted to use motion to show the drama here, and there's really a lot of drama in Chris's story. We are shooting Chris Lieto, a three-time Ironman champion and former U.S. national Ironman champion. He's one of the top athletes in the Ironman, a swim, bike, run event. He's clearly the best cyclist in the race, but struggles to maintain his lead in the run. Last year, he lost a five-minute lead over rival Craig Alexander to come in second place with only two seconds left in the race. That's drama. So to show this, we've got a really long dolly track to show Chris in a run. We're gonna use slow motion and fast zooms to really get inside Chris's head. No way we're gonna keep up with this runner guy, but... Two You'll see in the end, dolly. two grips on one dolly trying to run, push, push. Push, pushing a 600 pound dolly and keep up with a, a professional track star. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do our best. Right, you guys are ready? You guys ready? You ready, man? Potter movies and they open the newspapers and the pictures are alive inside the newspapers. This is kind of a reality version of that. Now this is going to live online, but it turns out that the technology that's going to bring this to your doorstep is not that far off at all. Video is being integrated into our world more and more, like photography before it. Right now, there are working prototypes that will allow this, and they are very cool. Here are two, OLED and e -ink. In addition to being able to create ultra-thin displays with low power demands, these technologies can give us screens that are flexible. We are looking at technologies that can help usher in the next evolution of print. In the next few years, we will see mainstream technologies that could bring flexible video everywhere, including our newsstands. I see a future where motion is integrated into every aspect of our lives, just as photography is today. When we can walk up to a newsstand, for a couple of dollars, hold a piece of living art in our hands. This could be the evolution of print.